A lot has changed in agriculture through the years, but farmers are still dedicated to caring for their animals and educating the public. Ankley Family Farms is a farm that has a rich history of agriculture. They gave him a piece of land in Burnside Township, which is where we live now. But the original piece of land my great-grandfather moved from to this piece where we live now, and that was in 1905. And then my grandfather farmed it, and my father farmed it, and I farm it now. As far as I know, my grandfather started the milk cows and sell the milk. And that was done in an older barn that was, has been torn down in 1942. And he built the new barn in 1941. The cows were milked in, in the stanchion barn and they used lanterns and they milked them by hand. The farm has grown from 80 acres to now over 700 acres. And through the generations, different pieces of property in the area have been added. Right now we milk about 80 cows and that's a far cry from the five that they milked originally. Bill Ankley talks about some of the current challenges that farmers face. Right now you see a lot in the news about animals not being properly taken care of. Um, on, most, on most all farms I notice, and farms that are profitable, the animals receive very good care. The animals are your, are your main blood. That's where you get your income from. And if their animals are not taken care of and properly cared for, housed, and received proper medicine and care, you won't have a profit. The farm believes that comfort and housing is very important to cattle. Our cows, uh, we have a freestall barn. It's open with curtains so the air flows freely in there. And uh, the cows are able to stay in, this, in the freestall barn or they're able to go out into pasture with shade and grass. And in the summer when it's hot, those cows don't leave the barn. They love the shade and the, and the comfort of the airflow in the freestall barn. And at night they'll go out in the pasture. But they have their choice and they're, and they're comfortable all the time. In addition to caring for the animals, it is also very important to promote agriculture. One way of doing this is by being involved with the Lapeer County 4-H Dairy Area. We have a 4-H Dairy Club um, called the Moo Crew and we have about 25 kids in our program and what they do, most of them have, um, not, do not have their own cat, cattle so they use ours. Um, this year we took 18 cattle to the fair, five of them were milking cows and um, 13 heifers and of all those cattle, 15 were shown from other, other kids. Um, the kids learn a lot about the dairy program, um, what it takes, what's, what it involves to, to feed and take care of them. They train their own cattle up until the time to show and um, keep the same cow if they want up and through the milking um, process too. In addition, the farm is also involved in other promotional activities throughout the year. We t participate in yearly in, oh, probably three or four petting zoos. <clears throat> we'll go to Suncrest, which is a nursing home in the area, and we'll take chicks and calves, and we'll have sheep, and any other animals that we have. We like to keep a variety around here for the, for the, for petting zoos. We'll, we'll do a, uh, one for the church, and we'll also do what's called a Rural Education Day through Farm Bureau, in which children of third graders from around the county come and interact with animals, and we'll explain to them what dairy is. We also uh, um, participate in the living experience through the um, Lapeer, through the um, Eastern Michigan Fair, in which we'll bring cows down that have that are ready to give birth and they'll give birth at the fair. This gives visitors to the fair a chance to see these animals being born and many of these kids have never experienced anything like this before. And they have pigs there and they'll have chickens hatching and it's, it's a wonderful experience and I think it's the most popular tent at the fair. From Ankley Family Farms, I'm Joe Ankley.